Proceeding further, the fourth category of LXI activity question is make them do some create level work where they have to create something and make them share it in the forum and do a peer review of others postings. For example, you can see on screen an example from a data structure course. Suppose the task given is write a program to sort a given set of numbers using a sorting algorithm of your choice and then you do a peer review on the time complexity of the algorithm posted by your peers. Let's see an example from an FDP course. A create level activity in an FDP course can be create a lesson plan for a learner centric way of teaching with animations. You post your lesson plan and then do a peer review based on the checklist we have given for the other postings made by your peers. The fifth category, the fifth out of the six categories that we are discussing in this learning dialogue, the fifth category is prompt learners to reflect on the learning that has happened. So an example of this category of focus question is, you can ask learners, what were the takeaways of for you from this course? And comment on two of your peers takeaway posts. This is a good LXI activity question because what is happening in the mind of the learner? They are now summarizing when they are responding to your activity question. They are summarizing what is the key takeaway for me from this course and this reflection also will help them in learning the content of the course. Let us see another example. You can also ask them what was the muddiest point for you in this week? Now when they think what is the muddiest point, that is the point that they have not understood at all, they are reflecting on how much they have learned the content for this week and then they are going to post the muddiest point. And as an instructor, you will also be interested to go through their muddiest point postings in the forum because it is going to give you feedback on how much your learners have learned. So this is also an excellent type of LXI activity question. Now we arrive at the last category of LXI activity question. This category, if your objective is prompting learners to share experiences of applying the content in practice, then you can use this activity question. For example, in our teacher training MOOCs, we tell instructors or the faculty who are participating to post videos or write up of their experiences of applying active learning in their classroom. So they would have gone into the classroom, they would have conducted a learner centric class for the first time, applying the principles that we have taught them and then come back to the forum and share your experiences with your fellow teachers. This works very well in professional development MOOCs. Remember, do adopt at least one type of these objectives and post LXI activity questions. But at the same time after posting orchestration is also very important. Every week please go at least once to the forum and see what your learners are posting. Do a random pick of the post and respond. Now let me close this learning dialogue with a reflection spot activity. So I'm going to show you a LXI activity question. You have to tell me whether it is good or bad. You go to the discussion forum and discuss your justification whether this LXI activity question is a good one or a bad one. If you feel it's good one, post your reasoning of why this is a good question in the forum. If you think it's a bad one, then also give reasons and post in the forum. What is the LXI activity question? The LXI focus question to evaluate for you is go to the discussion forum and introduce yourself, state your name, domain and where you come from. So post your responses to this reflection spot in the forum and I will see you there. Thank you.